What's going on everybody? Thank you so much for coming back to the channel. It's awesome to see you and I hope you guys are having a great everything. In the midst of everything that we get to do in our lives, work, school, play, streaming, YouTube, um, there's one solid thing that we can always look forward to and that is for sure that Ryan George and his buddies at Screen Rant are gonna come through for us with another pitch meeting. This time, it's Gods of Egypt. I'm not gonna lie. I've never seen this movie before. I don't even know it, ex I didn't even know it, ex it existed. I really honestly didn't, never. So let's go ahead and get into it and I'll meet you back here after we check it out so we can discuss it some more. So you got a movie for me? Yes sir, I do. I was thinking we make a movie called Gods of Egypt. Oh heck yeah, I could totally picture that. A bunch of big Egyptian gods. Yeah. yeah. With their thick Scottish accents. Well. So what happens in this thing? So the king of Egypt, Osiris, is gonna step down and put Horus in charge. So just several ladies of the night running the country? No, Horus. That's the name of his son. Oh, okay, gotcha. Gee, but Osiris' brother Set shows up and kills Osiris and then challenges Horus to a fight. Uh-oh, are there any other gods around to help out? Oh, well there are gonna be a bunch of gods at the coronation but they're not gonna help what why not well one of them tells Horus there are many of us that will stand with you but now is not the time why wouldn't this be the time because this is the start of the movie it just started oh that makes sense so Set and Horus turn into big scary beasts which is a thing they can do but then Damn, Set steals his eyes and so he loses ass, his actually. powers dang it so now Set is gonna run everything he is so he tells the people of Egypt either bow to me or become slaves so what happens to the people that bow to him he makes them into slaves <laughs> so sneaky <laughs> and he also changes the rules to the afterlife. Now you have to buy your way in with riches. Sounds Gotta like that's that going to be tough for people to do if everybody's enslaved. Actually, yep. Kind of thought you were going to say something else there. So then we're going <laughs> to jump forward a year and Set is going around killing gods one at a time. That uh, sounds like they probably should have stood up to him when they were all together at the Can coronation. Well, no, move. because that was not the time, remember? Right, right, right. That's right. And so this mortal guy, Beck, and his girlfriend, Zaya, they come up with a plan to steal one of Horus's eyes from Set, which is being kept in a pyramid. Why do they Smart. want the eye? Well, because Zaya says that Horus is the only one who could beat Set, but Horus was very publicly defeated and had his eyes ripped out. Correct. So they managed to steal the eye, but then Zaya gets an arrow through the heart and dies. Oh no, so his girlfriend's deceased? Yeah, but turns out it takes like a couple of days to walk to the afterlife, so there's a bit of leeway here. Oh, a very convenient death process. So Beck <laughs> goes to see Horus and he's like, hey, if you bring my girlfriend back to life, I'll lead you to your second eyeball so you can go kill Set. And he absolutely nice needs him. both eyes. Oh yeah, without both eyes, he can't turn into his powerful gold golden bird form. Gotcha. So Good what does stuff. he do? He turns into his powerful golden bird form and flies to space to see his granddad. Sick. Uh, and why does he need to see him? Well, he needs some divine water and he needs to go see the god of wisdom and he needs to answer a sphinx's riddle and he needs to kill the desert with divine water. Sure, that sounds like a string of events. It Good is. Stuff. And along the way, they're going to have to battle a PlayStation 2 Minotaur and Horus's <laughs> girlfriend is going to seduce a snake into killing itself. What? Yes, see, what? she can mind control those whose hearts don't belong to another. So this particular giant snake was not in love. Guess not, stupid snake. Okay, so they've <laughs> killed the snake, Bachelor. Now what do they do? Well, they snake eventually bachelor. get past the Sphinx's riddle, and so now they need to use the divine water to kill the desert. Why do they have to kill the desert? Oh, because it says they have to do that. It's written right here in streaky blue and white. Oh, my printer's running out of ink. Well, they should probably do it then. But then freaking Set shows up and rips out the God of Wisdom's brain. Rudy. Oh, very rude. Yeah, and then he crushes their little vial of divine water. Ah, oh, so that whole thing we've been doing for the last chunk of the movie was pointless. Yep, and then he leaves them to it's die. Tough. He doesn't stick around to make sure they actually do die. No, because the way I wrote him, I thought it might be cool if he was part God, part 1960s Bond villain. That works. So then they don't actually die. Plot twist. Yeah, and so then Set absorbs all the body parts he stole from other gods, and now he's extremely more, a lot more powerful. So he's something. Did, somehow. Yeah. Uh, stolen body parts are tight. Oh, my God. I mean, I imagine. I don't have any in my filing cabinet. Oh, okay. Sure. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. So now Beck and Horus have to stop him or the whole <laughs> flat earth will be destroyed. Oh, the earth is flat? Yeah, gotta inject a little bit of realism into this fantasy piece. What? So they're all fighting on top of this tall structure and Beck gets his hand on the second eyeball. Oh boy. Yeah, but then he throws it at Horus as he's falling. So now Horus has to choose between his second eyeball and saving his new friend Beck. Uh-oh, so what's he gonna do? He's gonna save Beck. Well, it's gonna be impossible to defeat Set if he can't turn into his bird form. Actually, it's 
going to be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, oh really? Yeah, because he turns out his true destiny is to help people, and he never needed the eye. The power was inside him all along. Wow. Oh, are you wow. okay? I don't know what that was. All right, so anyway, then they defeat the bad guy, but Beck dies because he had a hidden injury right here on his side. Oh, yeah, those are always eventually deadly. But Oris makes a deal with his granddad to bring all the people he liked back to life, so it's all good now. Sick. And so now he's the king of Egypt, and the flat earth is safe again. So what do you think? Sounds like an idea that'll absolutely become a franchise for sure. I'm gonna throw $140 million at it. Nice. And you think critics will like it? Hey, even if they don't like it, that's just their opinion, you know? Oh, Nobody boy. on our team's gonna get mad about that. What? Oh. Hey everybody, Ryan Jordan here. Thank you for watching that pitch meeting. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe That's and leave a comment down below. Let me know if you like the, the, the other videos and we have other videos on you the okay, channel man? too. So don't, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye. I think I nailed that. <laughs> you nailed something, bro. I, I don't. All right, so that was kind of crazy. I had never even heard of this movie. And uh, even though there's Gerard Butler in it, and I'm glad to see that he's not kicking people down wells anymore. This is Sparta! And we got Jamie Lannister in it. He's from Game of Thrones. I mean, you can't really go wrong with Jamie Lannister. He got his hand back. That's kind of cool. Um, the plot sounds kind of, kind of interesting. Interesting. But the one thing, the one single thing that makes this the most interesting thing I've seen in a while. Alex Proyas directed it. There are two movies when it comes to dark films that he had a hand in that are just icons in the genre. And that's number one, Dark City, where we uh, found um, Oscar Isaac, who was an amazing Jennifer Connelly role. Um, we had everybody's favorite hunchback, Richard O'Brien, in as a uh, crazy guy in a trench coat that liked to hunt down people. Uh, it was kind of almost, I wouldn't even go so far as to say kind of almost like the pre-pre-precursor to The Matrix. But the one thing that Alex did, that no matter if he did anything else, will forever make him worthy of watching his work. He was the director of the original Pro. Remember the original Pro with Brandon Lee? That seething, dark, sexy, super sexy movie. I mean, I'm not just talking about Brandon Lee and Black Leather. God rest his soul. I'm talking about just the movie itself. It was completely set up in, in dark passageways with gothic architecture and the soundtrack kicked so much ass it was ridiculous. I mean, it was an amazing film. Just based entirely off of Proyas's background, I would be willing to check out this movie. From what I've seen in the, the bits and pieces, I went and checked out the trailer before I saw the, uh, the pitch meeting for it. I would give this movie at least, at the very least, just off the visuals and the story and the, the directing um, chutzpah. And yes, I did say chutzpah. Um, I would give it at least a 7 out of 10. But the pitch meeting, not a 10 out of 10. I mean, seriously. Ryan just knocks it out of the park every time. Every time. I think this is the first time I've ever done a reaction where I haven't said fuck at least three times in a row. I'm not gonna do it. If you're waiting for it, I'm starting to let you know. Fuck all that. Anyway, thank you so much for being in here, guys. Please, please, please have an awesome day. Have an awesome night. Be safe out there and watch over each other because you gotta know by now I love you. And I'll be here take care of yourselves because I love you guys and I will talk to you guys at a time later than the present please please feel free to like comment subscribe especially the comment part I want to hear what you feel about this I want to hear what you got to say about it and if you want to come and hang out with me live I'm on twitch Tuesdays Thursdays Saturdays possibly Sundays and when I say twitch I mean twitch here on the YouTube channel and we're over on Twitter as well. Uh, links for everything are down in the description. Stop by, say hi. I appreciate it. 
just be safe out there and I will talk to you guys soon.